this is Bridget over here. And today I'm bringing you guys a quick new video. Uh, probably my very first video video on my channel. But I want to bring you guys a quick deck profile of my uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, deck. And I wanted to diverse away from the game itself a little bit because um, thinking me and someone were going to share some other content for this channel. And I thought I'd need to start off with a simple Yu Gi Oh! Blue uh, Eyes White Dragon uh, deck profile with the current um, ban list format. So, Let's start away. So obviously with the first blue eyes, we're going to be starting off our stuff with the main boss monsters of this deck, which are the three blue eyes white dragon, obviously, as you can see. Next, we have three mains with the eyes of blue. Uh, this is obviously now to get out blue eyes much more easier, um, regardless of uh, either is being targeted or uh, or effect or attack. Um, she is the go-to of this deck to pull out blue eyes much much more easier. Uh, next we have two white stones of legend, obviously to draw blue eyes out from our deck to our hand. Um, also, you can use uh, these for uh, Carpet Consonance or for uh, Dragon Shrine, which I mostly use to pull out Blue Eyes my deck, um, in case I have a uh, trade in my hand uh, to, um, you know, obviously draw two cards, or I can just, you know, uh, Synchro Summon with this. So, not bad, not bad. Um, next, you might be wondering why I have these, but I run two Flanvel Guards in this deck, and the reason why I run two Flanvel Guards is to make Card of Consonance a little more consistent, just in case I don't want to have just these two for that. And the reason why I'm running two is because um, for these, I can also use them for Silver Scry since it is a normal monster. Um, I can use these for Synchro, for Draw, or even for uh, to fire off the second effect of uh, Dragon Charm, where if I send a normal one to the graveyard, I can send another, I can send white stone to the graveyard, uh, pull out blue eyes from my deck to my hand, but um, this will also increase the amount of dragons I have in my graveyard for um, Dragon's Mirror to make uh, fusion summoning uh, like five headed or even because this is, this is a normal monster, if I have like two of them or one blue eyes in my graveyard, um, I can use them for uh, first of a dragon, which is Pretty good combination, not gonna lie. So um, I've been testing it out. It's been running pretty well in this deck so far. So okay. Next, I run two bright stars. And the reason why I run two bright stars in this deck is because um, I also uh, use bright stars effect to fire it off if I already have maiden on the field. And with maiden's effect, if she's targeted for an effect. I can pull out blue eyes um, much, much more easier uh, from either my graveyard deck, blah, blah, off my hand. But because of his effect, she will become a level 3 star tuner. And since she is a tuner, it'll make it much more easier for me to pull out my, like, let's say, level 7 synchro plays or, you know, other ones. Or even, like, if I, if I choose to use blue eyes and name instead of just bright star, I can go into, like, star year or, like, you know, other ones. So... Um, and not only that, it, it is a pretty strong monster for, you know, 1900, it, it's a pretty good dragon, or sorry, um, beater, uh, for that, so, um, it's been running pretty well in this deck so far. Alright, uh, almost done, and I have two, uh, Swordsman of Revealing the Light, and the reason why I have these in the deck is for, um, uh, not only its effect, but I used to run Gorge in this deck, and I thought Gorge might be, might clog up my deck a bit too much, like I didn't ever find instances where I have just a clear field. Uh, this is, I can special summon this whenever I'm even, hit, even if I had like any card in the field, I'm oh, sorry, um, if I had like a, let's say some magics or whatever, traps, and if I'm being hit for direct attack, I can special summon this, and if the um, monster's attack is lower than his defense, it's automatically destroyed. Uh, I think it's before battle calculation, not too sure. Um, but 
Uh, this is also good for trading because it is a level eight. And um, it's been running really, really well on this deck. And I love the second effect of it that it gives um, my level eight XYZ's monster where they have, where it'll suck up two, no, uh, it'll suck up one attack. So it has to be destroyed twice uh, in order for it. So this is why I love, love this, this monster. Next, I'm running one. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Obviously, I mean, this is pretty much a staple in any dragon deck now. Uh, since it is at one, uh, this you obviously banish a dragon, thus summon it, and then you can special summon another monster from your hand or, uh, sorry, dragon type monster from your hand or from your uh, graveyard. So, uh, yeah, it's actual. And then one Honest, since most of my monsters in here are uh, light. Um, you can choose to run two, but honestly, um, I think maybe one's even just enough. I mean, two, I don't know. I just choose to run one. So, turtles. All right, so that's it for the monsters. Uh, now we will be going to the magics. Uh, so we're in the magics. I run three trade-ins for this. Um... Yeah, for obviously since um, I have Swordsman Review and Light and Blue Eyes, it'll make these much, much more consistent. And I use these in combination with like Dragon Shrine just in case. Or like let's say I have a card of Consonance in my hand and a um, White Stone. I can pull out a Blue Eyes to my hand, use this, draw two more. And um, yeah, draw power. This deck has a lot of draw power. Um, this is what I, I really built it around for. Next, I have three uh, Silver Scribe. These are amazing. These are the Monster Reborn for any Blue Eyes deck, like pretty much. And these are really useful as well for uh, Flan Guard. If I ever want to go into like a uh, um, Azurai or like any sort of like level nine or whatever synchro monster I want to go into, because since Flan Guard is a tuner. Uh, yeah. Okay, next I run two Dragon Shrines. And obviously reason why is to send, like I said earlier, send stuff to my graveyard, uh, draw cards, like a Blue Eyes, or just even just like, I just want to send, you know, just a White Stone to a graveyard. Um, or even like if I want to send one Flambell Guard, then a White Stone. Um, these are really good to increase my graveyard pile, uh, for Dragon Shrine, just in one of those cases, like, let's say mid midway through duel, I have, you know, whatever, I want to use Dragon Shrine, and, um, I don't really have anything else left to play, so I'll just, you know, pull out Dragon's Mirror, five-headed, boom, done. So, uh, this is why I love Dragon Shrine. Next, obviously... No introduction here to these, to MSTs. These are pretty much a staple in any deck. Um, I don't know, I haven't really thought about running Galaxy Cyclone. Uh, maybe sometime in the future I might, but they're really expensive. They're like 30 bucks a piece. Um, so right now, two MSTs. So, yeah. Um, next, two card consonants for uh, Planville Guard and. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Whitestone. Uh, obviously, this card won. Excuse me. One level one. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this card won. Uh, Dragon type monster tuner from your hand to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Um, Flying Ball Guard. Whitestone. Yeah. Draw power. This is what the deck's pretty much about. It's like a lot of draw power, but like you can pull out a lot of quick combos. Um, obviously, next. Soul charge, go right into your, um, you know, XYZs. Like, let's say if your grave is full, this card is really shit when you're like maybe 25% white through your duel, or like even like starting. This is why this card is good if you like draw like midway, because then you can go into like the really, really good plays. Um, so, yeah, and make sure you keep track of your life points, because I've killed myself sometimes with this card. Uh, one, one for one. Um, I use this card to pull out Maven mostly, um, for her to stall. 
Uh, but um, this is why like, I would send like let's say like, a blue eyes to my graveyard or like a monster. Like this is why like, I gotta pull out like um, another combo I usually used to do with this. Like I'd send blue eyes to a graveyard. But I had like I said I had bright side in my hand. I'd send blue eyes to a graveyard. Um, pull out maiden. Then after I do that, um, normal summon. Uh, Bright Star, and then pop Maiden's Effect and then pull out a Blue Eyes and then go into all that jazz. That's why I like this card. Uh, next, obviously, we need Hammers. One Argeki. This is like a staple in any deck now. Uh, one one for one of the apiece. And one Dragon Bear. Yeah. Um, the thing is with Dragon's Mirror, people have been telling me, like, um, that I really should run this in the Blue Eyes deck, but the thing is with this card, this card has actually won me a lot of duels, and it's been really consistent with, like, um, particularly first of the Dragon, like, that card has won me a lot of duels, particularly, like, like you need 5-headed, too, um, but this is, like, a, like, a just-in-case kind of card you want to, like, pull out. Not really so much early on to the duel because um, I don't have any cards that can bring back banished cards. I think like you know if you're going to use these for like let's say fucking I don't know blue eyes ultimate, near three blue eyes are gone. Um, maybe some day some day or later day I might run that one card that can bring back like three banished cards. Um, so maybe sometime in the future I'm gonna add that. So we will see. Uh, next, obviously, for the traps, I'm running two, call the haunted, obviously to bring back stuff from the graveyard. Uh, two, fiendish chains. Um, this can also be used on Maiden as well. A lot of people are surprised that they actually use this card on Maiden, and they thought that her effect would be negated. But the way how the chain system works in Yu-Gi-Oh, Maiden's effect would fire off first, and I would still be able to bring a Blue Eyes out because it's just how the chain system works in Yu-Gi-Oh. And a lot of people have actually used this card on her surprisingly. Like even I would use this on her sometimes. Um, uh, just one problem is that if you're gonna go into your Synchro after, uh, this card will take up a slot in your Magic and Trap cards. So keep that in mind. Uh, next, one bottomless, one French tribute, and for final one, ring of destruction. Okay. All right. Next on to the action deck. Now these are pretty much a state one in the Azure deck. Azure is like hands down, though. Master of this deck, of course. Um, for for my deck, I just chose to run two because I wanted to run like a variety. Of, um, because I'm mostly gonna end up using only just two. You can choose to run three, but I only chose to run two because I feel like it would just clog up too much of my um uh synchros or like my extra deck. So two is fine. And um, yeah, just two. Next, one Star Eater. The uh, reason why I run this card, uh, this is perfect for when you're doing your battle phase, because uh, he uh, he is honestly like the minute he is brought on the field, he is unaffected by anything, um, only just for that turn. But he is a really really good card to have in the deck. Like that's you want to like just uh, end the duel or whatever. Really really good cards to go into, and this is a really good card to also go into uh, that combo I usually do. With uh, Maiden, Bright Star, and like Blue Eyes, I'd obviously offer Maiden and Blue Eyes because Maiden will become level three. Go right to this card. Beautiful play. Yes. Uh, one Clear Wing. Uh, this is for because since I have a lot, I most of my cards in my deck are level five and above. Um, even all my uh, Synchros and like all my Monster Monster deck, this is a really really good card against a lot of meta decks. Um, one ancient sacred Byron. 
Um, the OTK on this card is awesome. Um, this I this should be brought out the minute your life points are higher than your opponents. Because when your life points are lower than your opponents, this card becomes utterly useless. Um, I would use this card uh, for its second effect where I can bring it back. If I pay a thousand. If it's destroyed. Um, only if I have another tutor in my uh, no, in my hand. Um, so I can go into other things, which I'll be coming up pretty soon. Uh, Black Rose, obviously for Field Life. Um, Leo, this card is a bitch to deal with. It really, really is a bitch to deal with, this card. This card is atrociously hard to get around. Um, unless you get, like, really, like, and pull out, like, your Dark Hole or Igeki or whatever. Or whatever. This card can only be targeted on your... Like on your own main phase two, so like your opponent cannot activate like anything that targets outside of your own main phase two, and it has a really good decent amount of attack points as well. Like you can go in this with like your level um, nine synchro with another tuner or whatever. So yeah. Uh, obviously, we'll start us. No introduction needed. Now this card took me four. Ever to get one hot red dragon archfiend. Now, what I was saying earlier, because since this is a level eight star, um, the reason why I was saying for this card earlier is because this card has a really, really good. It has like a, almost like a mirror force like effect when it is synchro summon. Um, for this, if this card becomes crap at, at some point, and if you have a tuner, you can pay a thousand life points to bring him back. And then Synchro Summon, because most of my tuners are level 1s. Synchro Summon him or something else to go into him. And he can do a lot of shit when he comes out. Uh, next for my XYZs, I don't have very many, but um, I run one. Oops. I also like the sleeves, these Kaiba Avla sleeves, my, uh, my main deck. Has the blue eyes, and then my extra deck has like the Kaiba. Cool. Uh, one Heretic Sun Dragon of Over Heliopolis. Um, this card is good for like, just those just those cards that can like, get rid of on the field. Um, this card um, wins a lot of duels too. Um, this card should be like a, a staple in any sort of dragon deck, particularly like even like um, Chaos Dragon decks. Um, I have a friend that runs this card as well, and he, I had the Thunder and Dragon in this deck, but I took him out because I also thought that since I already have a Black Rose, why run that? When all it does is destroy his dual field wipe. So, yeah, this card, amazing. Next, I have one Galaxy Eyes, number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. You know why I have him? He's either for his effect, uh, because since he can also do another attack, but since I also have him to go into this, this is my favorite card in this entire deck. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because this is a really, really easy card to pull out, not because of because of his effect with him. Um, it's a really, easy, really easy four thousand cards to get out. Uh, with him, uh, like let's say like you're racing like a light sworn deck. Um, this almost has like a sort of dark law effect, but like. It's only when you attach an XYZ materials. Um, your your uh, this actually makes it a lot easier to go also into your dragon's mirror. Um, but uh, he can also make a second attack as well. So that's you know stuff. Yeah. And then once you want to try to figure out how to one five energy and one first of the dragon and one blue eyes ultimate. I I built this deck around because I I wanted to. Incorporate Blue Eyes Ultimate just for like nostalgia sakes. Uh, first, the dragon he can only be he cannot be destroyed by battle. Um, yeah, except by like let's say like the only the only type of monster I can destroy him is normal monsters. But um, it's a pretty good card to go around uh, back monsters, and he's pretty much like a soaker. You can also use him for like uh, synchroing or any other stuff in him. 
Mm-hmm. But big guy, this whole deck is five headed. Like he's like a, a just in case sort of like and these two are just in case for like, you know, uh if you don't have like anything else, like whatever, let's say you don't wanna just pull up a wise ultimate or whatever, just fucking call it out. Um because I honestly I I, I used to run this um in the deck just for fun with Blue Eyes Ultimate. Just you know, I, I managed to pull this card out a couple of times. Like it's not the greatest card in the world, but I used to run this card in this deck just for fun. So Yeah. Um then that is it for my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile. I hope you guys had enjoyed it. If you guys want to let me know any cards that you guys should add or take out or like maybe you know uh monsters I should maybe review or some comments you want to tell me. Uh, feel free to leave it down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. Um, this is Grinjal and signing out.